All right, so I've got one end plugged into the fuel rail, one end plugged into the loom. That's the wire joiner, PC, do the lackey. It joins into this box. All right, so they've given you a bit of loom length there so you can zip tie it out of the way somewhere in the engine bay. There's plenty of room, find somewhere inconspicuous, probably somewhere behind that fuel filter or where the ABS module is, just somewhere out of the way. It um, looks quite waterproof because it's this resin type of situation. Um, use the other light. So basically, you can see this little adjustable switch here. It's preset to number five. It's a 10, um, 10 point switch. So uh, to me, it's like some sort of maybe variable resistor or something like that, uh, that then changes the voltage, resistance, whatever going in and out of whatever goes on here to then tell the computer to up pressure, lower pressure, blah, 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 things like that. They've told me in the instructions here to leave this switch alone. It needs to be left on A, and you can see there's a little B. I'll focus on that. It's a little B logo. So I've left it switched on A, and they default set it to 5. So the instructions say just leave it at 5 for now, but depending on what vehicle it is, uh, it says something about Toyota liking switches maybe 1 through 3. Audi, Volkswagen, things like that tend to like switches 7 to 10. So it says to just put it in there, leave it at 5, flick the ignition on, wait for that LED to turn on, that means that everything's connected okay and it's getting the signal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oops. I don't know if you can see the little LED between the bonnet. Yep, 